Hi there, it's Tim from Tim's Electric, and today I am delighted to share with you the Q Power 2 from Kiwa. Uh, Kiwa are very kind to share and send this to me all the way from China. It's an absolute beast. It's probably one of the biggest scooters I've ever had the pleasure of riding around. The lighting is incredible. It's got massive batteries. I'm gonna put the specifications up now so you guys can see how see all the specs, but it has twin 3000 watt motors, a massive 40 amp hour battery, and huge hydraulic brakes. In fact, the brakes, when I show you these brakes, you're gonna be blown away, like the, uh, the they're huge. Anywho, and if you'd like $50 off the purchase of a Q-Power 2, use the coupon code TIMSELECTRIC at checkout. Visit kiwascooters.com. I'm gonna go now on a ride through Victoria. I'm gonna grab my sweater because it is chilly here this fall time of year. And um, it's been raining a lot. In fact, it's been probably been raining about, probably for about two weeks. And this is like the second day in a row of it not raining. It's gonna rain this afternoon. So Melissa is helping me. Thank you, Melissa, for uh, coming out and doing the filming with me on the scooter, following me around, getting some awesome B-roll. We're gonna go for a boot, as I mentioned, and then I'm gonna go through with you what I like, what I don't like, and whether or not this scooter is for you. Alrighty, quick off-road test because this machine, it comes with 11 inch tires and they're off-road tires. Now I've been riding it around in the streets without any issue and I've done some off-roading with it so far already. So I know it handles really well, but here's a big field, lots of mud. I'm gonna go for a quick boot and I'll show you what it looks like when I get back. Wow, that was exhilarating. Um, yeah, I, I actually don't do very much off-roading at all with uh, with electric scooters, but uh, this thing is an absolute beast. Um, tires are spinning. Uh, it's got great grip in the corners. Uh, no problems going up the hill. As you can imagine, it's 6,000 watts. It's got plenty of power. So, anywho, I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to share you a little bit more about the uh, this beautiful machine. It is quite a powerful machine. All right, I'm gonna ask or invite Melissa to come over here and I'm gonna show you guys the handlebars and what's up here. So right up here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see there's the switch. This is the light switch. And these lights, <laughs> these lights are pretty amazing. Talk about bright, holy cow. Down below, we've got indicators left and right. You just switch here. They don't auto turn off or anything like that, but at least you know they're on. I'm gonna press this horn here and um, hopefully it doesn't scare the bejesus out of everybody. It's pretty loud. Up here on top, we got something interesting. Well, first of all, we got the USB charger for your phone or something like that. It's kind of handy. And then I think this is kind of gimmicky, but it has a compass on top, which is kind of funny. This piece here, I think this is actually a reservoir for the hydraulic brakes. I haven't seen that or this style of hydraulic brakes before, but it's sort of reminiscent of a motorcycle setup. So uh, obviously very heavy, du heavy duty brakes. Over here, we have the locking stem setup. So if you wanted to, you can unscrew this and fold the handlebars down. I'm not gonna do that today, and it's nice and tight. And then of course, the adjustment for rotating the, um, the handlebars up and down is right here. You can just 
unscrew those when it arrives. And if you wanted to, you could check out the unboxing video. I set this all up and of course I did it backwards. Um, over on the right hand side here, we've got a key, which is really handy. Um, won't work without it. Um, eco turbo button, single dual motor button, power on. If I scroll through, you'll be able to see that I've gone about 63 kilometers on it so far. And um, currently the voltage is just under the 60 volt mark. Uh, and of course over here, we can change through the, they call them gears, but I call them power settings, power one, two, and three. One of the things Melissa reminded me about, and that is the grips. These grips are very, very handy, very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, really comfortable grips. Let's talk about the actual deck itself though. It is a monster. I mean, I've got big, big feet and it just, you can stand them side by side. You can put them at the back. At the very back, I'm get Melissa to come right in here and show you. Very, very solid area for bracing when you're taking off and you're using power. So I can put my foot right like this and uh, it just feels so comfortable. As I mentioned before, at the back, I've never, again, I've never seen brakes this big before. I'm not, certainly not on an electric scooter. Again, this is reminiscent of a, um, well, I guess like a motorcycle or something like that. Big reservoir at the back here uh, for the hydraulic brakes. And um, the stopping power on this machine is quite significant. The tires are monster off-road tires, 11 inches diameter. And <laughs> we've got the bells going off for the, for the, uh, the top of the hour. Um, huge tread. But funnily enough, even riding around on the streets, it's actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not uncomfortable at all. It's quite smooth. Uh, there is a bit of road noise because they're off-road tires, but uh, really solid. On this side, I'm just gonna share with you the kickstand. This kickstand, again, it's one of the biggest I've ever seen. It makes sense. It's one of the biggest scooters I've ever ridden, but uh, a very strong, powerful kickstand when I lean it, and just drop it like that, it's totally fine. It takes the weight, it's not unbalanced. The shocks at the front are monsters. Let's come right around to the front here and you'll see a lot of play here. I find the ride actually quite stiff, um, but uh, you know, that's minor. There was a minor little glitch here in shipping. Uh, they're gonna send me a new bracket anyway. You know what, that's what's gonna happen sometimes. Uh, they've been extremely responsive, happy to send me a new little bracket. I might not even ask them to do that. I'll probably just ask, probably just unscrew this bolt, this bolt and just knock this back straight and then adjust the light. But I love the lighting. I think the lighting is phenomenal. Um, super bright, super powerful lights. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to riding this at nighttime on a warm night anyway, it's kind of chilly right now. Another thing I wanted to share with you is that the, uh, the style of design of the stem, it's so, so strong. And that's because it's two, it's basically dual stem and it's blended together. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but I just wanted to show you the, how, how, how strong and powerful it is. Um, the shocks on either side add stability, but there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. And uh, in the next stop, I'm gonna show you how this thing folds up. And uh, yeah, let's continue our ride. So one of the things you're gonna to wanna to know about this is because it's a big scooter, like really big scooter and really heavy, is it something you can manage yourself? Is it something you can move around? I personally struggle getting it up and down stairs. So I actually have to ask Melissa to help me get it up the stairs to the apartment. Um, you know, like if I was trying to get it into the back of a car, I think I'd probably struggle. Certainly if I was by myself, I'll just quickly show you here. Um, I can lift the back end. I could lift the front. I could probably squeeze it into the back of the car, but I don't want to carry this thing up and down the stairs. It's way too heavy for me. I can ask Melissa though, show you how it breaks down and how you can fold it. So coming right to the front here, I kickstand up, 
At the front, there is a brightly colored lever. Take the weight off it. And, oh, sorry. First of all, there's a hook here. Undo the hook and pull the lever towards me. And, oh, I'll get out of my way here. Probably a good idea if I turn the power off too. And now it's locked. And when it's locked, what's really handy about it, it is in fact locked into place so you can now pick it up a little bit more easily. But again, I wouldn't recommend doing this by yourself. Oh, it's really heavy. Ugh. Cut. <laughs> and just standing it back up, a little release on that little red clip. Lift the handles, it snaps into place. And there's the lever here, just to ensure that it's nicely safe and locked. I gotta say, all these wires are really nicely wrapped. Everything is very professional. One thing I'm gonna mention is, uh, I'm gonna get Melissa to come right up here and I'll show you. Once the key is on, of course it's gonna give me the voltage level here, but uh, once I power it up, we've got those three levels, gears one, two, and three. What I've been riding around in is with uh, turbo on and dual motor on all the time. When I'm in gear one, that seems to be at around 32 kilometers an hour or 20 miles an hour. When I go to gear two, um, then what I find is there's a lot more power to the motors and my tires will actually spin off the line like that, no problem whatsoever. In fact, I have to be careful. I usually have to go a little bit more gentle. The trigger is actually very sensitive. So you can leave the uh, you can leave it in gear two and accelerate away smoothly without spinning the tires. But if you give it the beans right off the bat, all both tires will spin. The top speed it looks like it's around uh, must be around 50 kilometers an hour in gear number two, and then in gear number three, I don't know. This thing is an absolute beast. I'm not going to find out what the top speed is of it. I suspect it's probably in that 80 to 90 kilometers an hour range which is completely ludicrous in my mind. Nobody needs that, but maybe if you've got leathers on or you've got some property where you can ride around in the back country and have some fun, you know, knock yourself out. I think that sounds like a lot of fun, uh, but it's not for me. Um, the battery, as I mentioned before, it's a 40 amp hour battery. Now, very first trip, I did about 38 kilometers and it didn't use half the battery. So, you know, if you need range, this thing has got range. I would, you know, if you can extrapolate from there, fairly simple math, looks like around 75, 76 kilometers without any, without any issue whatsoever. So, anyhow, let's go on to the next spot. I want to say a very special thank you to Kiwa to for sending me this scooter. Uh, the the Q Power Two is unbelievably powerful. I mean, it is just crazy powerful. Very robust architecture on the uh, on the frame. Very very powerful. And um, you know what? If you're a big guy and you don't have to lift up a bunch of stairs because uh, it is a very heavy scooter. Uh, then, you know, if you could just drive it into your garage, lock it up, charge it up, this might just be a perfect scooter for you. The big off-road tires, you can, you know, you can change those to uh, just regular street tires if that's more your thing. But if you're looking to do some, some off-roading on an electric scooter, this thing is amazing. Anywho, thanks again to Kiwa for sending it to me. Thank you to Melissa for riding around Victoria with me and uh, shooting this amazing machine. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions about the Q-Power 2, put those down in the comments. Give it a like. Thanks for subscribing. Talk to you soon. Oh, and always wear a helmet when you ride these scooters. Cheers.